Hi, I'm Anthony Lolly. Hi, I'm Teresa Jacobian. We're from the hit Amazon Prime documentary from Fat, Fat Lolly to, to Six, six Pack Lolly, Lolly in the Ultimate Transformation Story. Watch this video to see us compete in a transformation style competition alongside with Teresa competing yes. in the bikini. This is the big day. This is what it's all about. Um, we got our Last final instructions of what to bring. This is gonna be a little crazy because we gotta measure food measure backstage, water. measure water backstage. This is uh, my water definitely different. Uh, <gasps> you use this? Yeah, I told her to use. I didn't know. Oops. Um, it's okay. So I'm supposed to have some wine. Usually you have it at night. But we wanted to wait to see what I look like in the morning. Teresa's not getting any wine. No, I'm she getting has... minimal, minimal food because the core has to come in tight. Um, so I, I have to just even measure my water right now and just be sipping, be basically like really delicate with food. I'm gonna be hungry all day. So how do you uh, feel? Definitely. How do you feel? Oh, I feel pumped. I'm excited. I just wanna. Um, I just want to be on stage already and then get off stage and eat. <laughs> but no, um, in all honesty, I'm just experiencing like such a great thing, especially with you. You know, yeah. it's just awesome. Uh, like we were so excited, we held hands going to sleep. We're like, let's go get it, babe. Yeah. It's just fun, you know? You put yourself through an experience, you add fun to your own life, like. Uh, especially during pandemic, like there's all that there is is fear and negativity. So um, I feel like it's great that Look we are put robe. ourselves. Oh yeah, my robe. You know. Mother Teresa. Yeah, it's great to go through. This is the. Um, this is it. This is what you she worked hard for for exactly a year. Yeah. And so it's now, just great experience. Yeah. Put, put yourself in a situation where you get to have fun, basically, you know? Yeah. Um, and seeing all these other people, you know, uh, they also did the same thing. They didn't quit, they didn't give up. They just kept pushing their bodies. I love to see my body at, at the final stage, you know, like to know where I can push my body. At what level does it look? Excellent, and I think I'm there today. So. You know what I like? I like that the people that are also on stage or in the crowd, not the crowd, in the, uh, the contestants, they're on the next level too. It's not people struggling with discipline, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's people that you can relate to like, they're strong, yeah, you, you know, can measure food, strong. you, you can yeah. be mentally strong, you know, they may have weaknesses in other parts of their life, but at least with this part that I was struggling in, they're strong, and so for me, that's important, now, as a successful business person, I see a lot of them struggling in other areas that I never struggled in, so it's interesting to see how some of them struggle in the financial world, the, you know, uh, uh, relationship world and all these other worlds that I dominated and uh, and they had strength in the world that I was the weakest in, you know, so yeah. it's uh, good to kind of be around peers of that particular world now of being strong in mind in terms of body control and controlling what you eat and uh, going all the way, but why so yeah. many people quit yeah. big week, so many people quit during prep, they slip up on the diet once or twice, then they're like, no, I'm gonna wait for the next show. Yeah. The next show and the next Quitters. show. Quitters, quitters. Yeah, and it's just so cool to see these people, they didn't quit. A quitter never wins and a winner never quits. So, mm -hmm. um, and it's also interesting to see people that are there uh, that are not doing it the right way in terms of uh, peak week preparation. I got a chance to talk to some of the other guys and um, they're not being coached, they have bad coaches, you know, mm. or coaches that don't know what they're doing. How do you feel though, competing as a fitness model, Mr. Fitness Model? <laughs> uh, I don't feel ready, but everybody else says I'm ready, but I'm going to do it because, you know, it'd be good to 
Last year compete as a transformation, this year compete as a fitness model. What I said is I said transformation is scheduled to come on at like 8, 9 p.m. By that time the kids are going to be restless and you know not really having fun, tired. But fitness model is first before amateur. Amateur fitness model is first before amateur uh, bikini model before me. So I was like why don't you just do this one. You know, you look ready, you're not going to look ridiculous, so you look like you fit in. Plus, the get kids will get to see you before they go to I'm bed. I'm for the kids. I like that. Yeah. She convinced me with the kids. Me, yeah. I don't feel I'll ready. I'll to see Daddy. I have such a high standard of excellence. Well, why are we here to begin with for our kids? So let's not forget that. And let's always keep them, you know proud of us because yeah. they make us proud every day we go everywhere bragging about our, our kids so I told them I said don't you want to go around and brag about your parents they're like yes I said, so there you have it you believe that I'm gonna compete as a male fitness model <laughs> I would have never thought right I thought you didn't see it coming yeah. we're also learning how everything impacts the body the way that it does it's like a whole education for us too right going through this experience i've been learning so much salt intake sodium intake water food can intake. make you or break you yeah and food can make you sick or heal you that's the beautiful thing people don't get it anything you put in your body just yeah. like drugs alcohol anything poison you know so there's also who <laughs> poison? The tools are food. Also for body transformation, losing weight. I get messages all the time, you know, I've been going to the gym, but all I do is gain weight, you know? For so people that be... are going to say Therese is not natural, she's breastfeeding. I still am. 100% natural. I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna make sure I nurse him till he turns three years and eight months because that's how long I nursed love. I want to keep it fair and square. Three fair years, and months. eight months on a dot. Then we're gonna throw a graduation party like I did for love. We made it into like, oh, you're graduating from nursing. So she felt accomplished. Then we threw a whole party. We had a booby cake, a cake shaped with like, you know, pink butterflies and stuff. It was really fun. It was bigger than any of her birthday parties. And that was it. Can do the same for legend. What's in my mind? Yeah. Right now, at this time, April 10th, 2021. At whatever time is it? What time is it right now? Almost 8 a.m. Is so just trying to remember everything I have to bring. Mm -hmm. um, trying to stay cool and calm. And uh, basically, I'm on my own. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, because you're gonna be busy. Yeah. The kids are gonna but be I busy. But I already packed your food. Glad Life making it, so you're fine. If you need anything, you know, call me, text me. Uh, it's just like you have to be prepared because once you get there, usually I roll with the a crew, like a whole team. I know. Yeah. You know, he like this. Has even Carlos is. Busy with family stuff. And he and has running me as business. support. This time I also have to support myself and the kid. And so I give him yeah, my not coach that. He's just much got support. a hernia yeah. uh, operation. He's having a baby. What is this? Is you're the you're a perfectionist, so you ask something five times before you're like, is that is that true? That's what we need, that's what we need. That's what you ask people the same question five times to make sure you're on the right path. So I feel like now you know, it's like it's all on you. That's why you're feeling stressed. But I think wine should loosen you up. Well, so, food-wise, you're set. You just need to get your... You have your shorts. All you need is your suit pants, your shoes, your socks, which is all lined up upstairs. All you got to do is just put it in the car, really. See, I'm, I'm, I have a different mentality than most people. Most people are like, I'm going to do my own laundry. I'm going to cook my own food. I'm going to vacuum my own house. My mindset early on was, I'm going to be so successful. I'm going to hire somebody to cook my food. I'm going to hire somebody to clean my house. I'm going to hire somebody to do my laundry because I like to use my time wisely. Different mindset, different set of values. 
So right now I'm uh, putting myself in a position where I have to fend for myself and I don't have my support team with me. One of them's having a, two of them are having a baby, one of them's having a surgery. Um, she's competing. My mom's taking care of the kids. So literally, you know, I'm on my own because I don't like to bring in a lot of strangers into my world. So this is the uh, first time I'm in this, this position in a long time, so. I'm waiting for my hair and makeup. There's a lot of girls waiting. Uh, things are proceeding as scheduled, so it's calm and as calm as it could be. Um, what's going through my mind is, are the kids gonna be fed, prepped, and get here on time? Um, just, I just wanna have fun, honestly. At this point, my coach is on top of me. I'm sending him photos and videos almost every hour, so he's telling me what to eat, what not to eat, um, and I'm just excited, you know, to finally show my hard work and inspire because that's just has been the initial goal to begin with and I don't know I'm just thinking you know it's just reflecting where I was a year ago and where I am right now such a major change that has happened through putting my body through this whole transformation journey and being around you know other fitness models it's just, it was something to prove to myself. It was something to take my body to a certain level where I knew I still have it in me. Motherhood definitely takes a lot of, you know, your self-discipline away, you're uh, staying up late, you're eating bad, you're not really taking care of yourself. And this just kind of pulled me back out of that. So, as I was saying earlier, it just put me in the path of self-discipline again in all areas, not just fitness and eating, but I'm seeing like, like really fastly that I'm putting my business matters in place. In fact, I'm wearing my Mother Teresa robe, you know, and building a company from scratch. Everything is happening more effortless because I've become way better at time management, scheduling, multitasking, and yet I'm still managing homeschooling, both kids. I'm still managing their 10 uh, enrichment classes of ballet, gymnastics, taekwondo, you name it. I have everything. I actually have a schedule I can show it to you. And I'm still managing Love's acting career. In fact, I'm putting Legend more into the acting because I know he has shown some interest. Anytime Love is on set, he just jumps in front of the camera and he goofs off because he wants that attention too. So I'm definitely going to put him in front of agents and managers and see what he can do. So I'm excited about that. There is time. It's, this is what I'm starting to realize. There is time and ability to get a lot of things done during one day, during one 24 hour period. And I'm still getting my sleep, you know, at least seven hours. I'd like for Legend to stop waking up so that I get seven hours of uninterrupted sleep. So that's like my goal for this year. But yeah, I mean, you know, everybody's like beautiful. Everybody respect their bodies. They take their body to that level. We mentioned earlier, it's definitely not easy to get to the completion level, to get to the finish line. A lot of people we see, they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna compete, I'm gonna compete. And all of a sudden they're like, oh yeah, I changed my mind, I broke my diet, I'm not gonna do it. You know, peak, peak week is even harder, you know, but the three months, the 12 weeks of cutting period, prep, it's called prep, when you start cutting your calories to cut the fat and the body fat percentage while maintaining and growing muscle. So that's the most challenging 12 weeks. If you can get through it, there's gonna be very little challenges for you in business, in life, in relationships, in parenting. So my nerves are at all time strongest right now. I've gone through parenting while you know, weightlifting, being extremely hungry and extremely moody. I've gone through coaching myself to be as patient as it could be. So I took myself as a parent, as a 
mentally stable person and patient person to the next level. It was worth it. Meal two was 100 grams of chicken cooked, 15 grams of almond butter, rice cakes, two cookies, tiny pinch of salt, 200 milliliters of water to sip on. Okay. I gotta get the tan after this, and then All I'm right. gonna eat my meal three, which is 75 grams of rice, 80 grams of chicken, two cookies, 150 milliliters of water. Meal four is undecided. Then one hour before stage, rice cakes with a bunch of maple, maple syrups drizzled in a handful of Skittles. Okay. Start pumping. All right, yeah. So we're gonna send this. You're gonna, nah, he's gonna, what, what's happening is what, you're gonna, he's gonna fill you up slowly. Right. Because you don't wanna fill up too too quick. Yeah. Because if you fill up too quick, you're gonna overspill. Yeah. That's why every, every two and a half hours, you take a picture or a video, yeah. you send it to your coach, yeah. and your coach is gonna tell you, okay, Let's keep your, your let's coast you into where right. you need to be for five o'clock. Right. So right now he's just filling you up to where but you need to be. But now I'm doing two, so like he's got. That's to, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Don't get nervous. It's two categories. <laughs> it's this. Your posing is going to be the same, same exact thing. So okay. let's just go over. Okay. Cool. And wait for them to call me out. Yeah. I'm flexing the legs. Yeah. I'm Abs are looking lap. good. Legs I'm are good. Lap. Bend, bend a little bit. Just bend a little bit. There you go. See, see the big difference. Yeah. Go back to being straight. Right. Now bend them a little bit. Yeah. See more strikes, see the whole thing? Yeah. Came right out. Push it in, like flip, flip the arm, like here, yeah, right here. Look at the bicep pop out now. Okay, good. All right, now you're gonna come walk to the front. Walk right? to the front, and then we sit basically like this. Mm -hmm. And we twist the hip like that, and then you said look up, right? Yeah, go back come to down. that first position again. First position. Come back out. Right? So I'm coming back out, boom. Right. And then we're gonna go like this. Just like that, good. That's the position we want. You want it to be kind of angled a little bit. Right. So right. It, that's the position you want to be. You don't want to be too straight. You want to be, set yourself in position, cross, bring it up, and then bring it down. And then flex that one arm up. There you go, that bicep. So you're gonna be like that, perfect. That's the, that's the position you want to be in for your back. Okay. Because now what it's doing, when you're sitting down on it, you're sitting down, now you're tight. So now you're bringing it down, and now you're hitting this, and you're just bringing your whole set of lat. Don't worry about what's going on up front here. Come in, and I hit it like this, you know? Okay. And then I even throw a side oblique shot in, you okay. know? So you could do, when you come over here, so you're walking, right? Now you find the X, set yourself in position. Do like, it's like a gun hole style. Like, I like throwing it out because you yeah. kind of throw your back out with yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. now you throw your back, so you should hit it, and you just come in, and you sit on it. Keep your knee bent a little bit, okay. and then just hit this. And then if you want to get crazy, you throw the oblique shot, and it shows that. So everybody has their strong sides and their, and their weak sides. Right. We're just trying to get the side, but we're going to try and make it as good as it could be. You know what I'm saying? You could do that whole routine for your transition, for uh, transformation, yeah. and you could do that for fitness. Right. That's why I said you should do fitness, yeah. because fitness is where you're at right now. So your legs came in good. Yeah. They came to play today. Yeah, yeah. The upper body's always been there. Yeah. It's just the posing we just yeah, need to yeah. work on. And your posing is good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Take your time. So your body's right where it needs to be. So right. you're right. good. You don't, have to, you don't have to worry about that. Even when you're like not even flexing, your abs yeah. are out there. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. What an incredible guy Jim is. I mean, very lucky. Very lucky Going that. Down. Uh, He's here, he came to this trip, and he's giving me these last minute pointers. It, it builds your confidence, it uh, relaxes you more. I get to really, from a real professional. And uh, he actually does posing coaching professionally for this federation, so it's an honor to be able to have a one on one time with him. Not only at my house, but literally hours before I'm on stage. So, very lucky. And uh, he's just a really nice guy, he relaxes you. The advice he gives you is just like second to none. And these are the little things, you know, in this in this sport, it's a game of inches and millimeters, just like the food, you know, grams. So uh, those little tips uh, will go a long way uh, when I hit the stage and uh, just uh, getting to know the community and getting to know the key players. So just sitting here staring at Teresa, who's already beautiful now, Putting makeup on is just like a surreal moment for me to see her like inching her way to the stage and um, just going through this whole process and going through it with my best friend. It's pretty awesome. All 
Alright, so for my other meal, it's 75 grams of rice. This is Uncle Ben's rice. So what I do is I put it in this cup that's at zero. And we put it in until it says 75. So this is carving up. So we're carving up for this show that's happening in a matter of hours. And then I have these two cookies, which I'm very excited about eating. Uh, which is this right here, two chocolate chip cookies. So this is my one o'clock meal. I have to consume and drink all this at 1 p.m. And uh, that's how you bodybuild. That's how you get a ripped body for stage, you know? This is aggressive, intense uh, meal plan and dieting, you know, under specific instructions and guidance. So this is what it takes. This is whatever it takes. This is a definitely a different style of makeup than what I'm used to, but I love it. It's called stage makeup, so it's different than my regular smoky eye that I do. They want that like brightness and openness, so I think she nailed it. Right, hon? I think so. She's great. I love it. I just got my uh, 50 grams of steak with 50 grams of rice and wait. Bye. Bye, my love. Bye. I love you guys. See you soon. Get ready. <laughs> so that's the kids, you know. And now we're just relaxing and just taking a break. I got to eat uh, in like, I don't know, 15 minutes I'm going to eat. Send check-in pictures, see what the instructions are. Run down, tan, run back up, change, get ready. And then in a matter of hours, we're on stage. I'm going to hit the stage quick i'm actually one of the first ones on stage i know and we have a big group that are meeting us we got shirts for them to wear and uh and all of it every listen some people go on stage and it's just the people in the audience and instagram we go on stage it's those people plus our big instagram following our fan base plus everybody around the world because we have you know a television show and a documentary and a docu-series so this is going to be seen and so the sphere of influence we have and the level of uh, responsibility we have on our shoulders it's like carrying a whole sport opening up a sport to the eyes of of people that you know never seen or never thought they could do this so we're talking to you guys as newbies because we're new into this so our perspective is basically you know from the outside now we're insiders sharing all of this content with you guys so you could see that what it is possible like and what it is like and no, i want anybody watching this episode to get into their workout pants and yeah go to the gym like i want them to be that inspired yeah and we can help you that's what we do you know we we plug you in with the right people we have all the right connections and you can get there really fast and this is not just about competing it's about looking your best feeling your best yeah you know um challenging yourself it's amazing to be able to carry that it's uh, it's it's a, it's the highest honor and i don't want to let people down i don't want to let myself down my family down which i never will and i never have but more importantly we have people that are inspired by us but they also want to know it's possible that you can succeed without failing and it is possible it's too many people showing people fail 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 it's okay to fail it's okay to win too it's okay to not fail mm -hmm. there are people that exist that don't fail and we're here to show you that it's possible so onward and upwards so that's it uh, this is the last of the relaxing moments right this is the second the final coat of tan. This is the result. Turn around, turn around. You know? So now back to the room. Uh, I gotta send check in pictures, see what the next meal is. That's all that's on my mind because that's the main focus of how my body will change. It's gonna change now drastically within the next three hours. It's gonna get even more ripped, more cut. Muscles are gonna pop out even more based on the food. Food, water, salt sugar now the sugar comes in so now i'm going to have a lot of burst of energy and besides the adrenaline and excitement of this moment is like you know the uh sugar and all the other stuff sugar high so these are my trunks i'm number two 
What is it? 246. 246. And Therese is 119. 119, baby. <laughs> We're ready. It looks beautiful. We're um, going in a cocktail dress, like a different dress other than the gown first. And then we'll be changing into bikini and then gown. So right now what's in my head is finish this food and then survive until, uh, until the Skittles. Transformation, right? Yeah. Well, I'm going to have Skittles and then a pump. Mm -hmm. Pump up. Sorry. And then um, the problem is, is that I've been practicing bodybuilding poses for NPC, which is a bodybuilding federation. This is more fashion. This is more sexy. This is more runway model. I had just planned to do transformation in this federation. And then in California, I was going to do MPC, which is like a real grizzly bodybuilding. So I have to unlearn everything that I've been practicing and learning, which is very strong poses. And I have to do it on stage. I lost the weight, kept the weight off. I, I built some muscle. Built some muscle. I could do this a hundred times if I want to. My physique is only going to get better. My mindset's going to get better. That's all she wrote. Let's see what happens. I'm still anxious to see how she does. That's really my main concern. I'm anxious about the kids not now being in, not making it on time. I hope it just all works out because love is five. She doesn't really nap, but also when she does a nap, she stays up only till like 7, 7.30. That's her bedtime. But if we want her to stay up late, she has to nap. So she's been giving Glagla a hard time. But finally now, after two, three motivational speaking, engagements with me she's quiet in the bedroom but it's just too close to the shower you know we're doing this for them and it would really suck if they can't come and watch very impactful yeah it was impactful for the kids when they saw me compete yeah imagine now they see their mom especially yeah. for love right Mm -hmm. And for Legend, like he's older, he'll Legend was so understand, young. It understand it better. Now understand it better. You know, mm -hmm. they know the poses. They have seen us check in and work out, and for them to see it all come together, mm -hmm. it'll make sense for them, mm -hmm. and it'll give them that idea, like never quit until you get to your destination. This is what our message is to our children. Mm -hmm. So let's just hope they make it on time because we go first. He goes first. I go second. I just want to say best of luck, hon. I love you. Thank you. Let's You're not beautiful. hug each other with and our tans. I know you'll do great. Um, Thank you. Either way, I'm very proud of you. Look amazing. You got everything here. The Ferrari. I always say she has the Ferrari body. Yeah. It's like a Ferrari, you know? Well, which means uh, you're short, you're compact, and you're symmetrical. I'm like a Bugatti. Right? <laughs> Thank very you. strong. Yeah burn a lot of gas in a short amount of time. Very expensive. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we cool. took our bodies to the finish line. Mm -hmm. And this is it. I mean, you don't get any better than this. And to see us... You do actually. I got like better this. than I was the last time. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because for men, like you want to build more muscle. But then there's also a limit that you want to build to. You said you want to stay small. Like you don't yeah. want to bulk up to Mr. Olympia. Yeah, no. I have decisions. Yeah. And choices. Me, I'm okay with this size. I don't want to be much, much bigger. Yeah. Um, for me, for my family, for my lifestyle, this is like a very functional day. physique yeah. you know, for me. I could have been a hell of a lot bigger, but I like it. You know, the fact that I'm in the in the in between these categories of muscle model and regular model or bodybuilder. Or, exactly. I'm in that it's sweet like spot, you're, you're which I like. You know. Covered on all. Mm -hmm. All right, it's party time. What floor are we going on? So the goal is to go and do our best, as we spoke, as we said many times. Before. This is it. This is the defining this moment. L. Oh. As we take the elevator down, <laughs> best shape of our lives, right? Yeah. Two kids. It was worth the journey for sure. She wants to get
sure. Like, I have a picture with my husband and watched the documentary, so I was like, I have to send them the picture. So Teresa just went in and we're waiting for uh, the men to call the men to go in. So uh, it's going to be interesting. So this is it. So I'm not going to see her probably until after this whole thing is over. So she's on her own, but we're, I'm with her in spirit. So let's see what happens. Uh, I'm excited for her. So, you know, and we're being recognized by people here. So, so that's awesome. So people are really embracing her. Other moms and stuff, they've seen the documentary. They're like, oh, they take a picture with you. So that's kind of cool. So meeting a bunch of other people that are competing in similar categories and so um, yeah excited let's see Stage. She has to go back on stage, so I'm doing two categories, and um, I finished uh, the first part. Then I have to go now do the first part of the transformation. Yes. Then I put on a suit for gown, a match, suit, male model. So she puts on a gown, and then I put on a suit again, and then we're it done. It was an ex exciting experience. Yeah, like, so fun. Thanks to this guy for got, dragging me here. <laughs> I got to experience this thing. Yeah. It's amazing, you know. You get to this stage of your body and all you want to do is hang yeah. on to it. Yeah. Like I have all the cookies and junk in my uh, uh, suitcase that I can right. eat right now. Right. Mike is like just eat and enjoy and whatever and I'm just like you know what. She's so disciplined you know. I it's ate a, a few and then I'm like I don't want to lose this. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. lose this. <laughs> I want to keep it. <laughs> it's so much fun doing it's this nice. as a couple. I love her. I love yeah. you. I'm so proud. Oh my god. We'll see so what the results are. Yeah it's like crazy. So. It's amazing. Let's see if we won, but if we didn't... We won anyways. Oh my gosh. So that was awesome. It was a great experience. Teresa now has a pro card, which is out of the blue. <laughs> and so that means she gets to compete against the pros, uh, which is a whole nother level. So she would have to train and make improvements and take a look at the video and, you know, see where she can actually go and place first place. But now the stakes are higher because she's going to compete against pros. So all the pros compete against other pros. And so then, you know, it's a pro show. That's really what it is, you know? So I'm excited. So they came here. Let me sign this book. I don't you found a pen? pen? We need I to get a pen. pen. So the documentary yes. is just hanging out with her backstage. I know, it's like awesome crazy. experience. Yeah. Can I take can I take her with me too? We have our medals. So how long ago did you see the documentary? It's 2018, right? Sorry, it's been, it's been, yeah, it's been a long time. Only out nine months. Is that right? Yeah. 
said it's been out for, for, for only nine months. It's been out. Really? Yeah, yeah. It seems like longer, but yeah. I can't even remember how we we saw it. I think it might have been recommended or something. And it was awesome. Yeah. Never thought I'd get a chance to meet you in person. That's just so no. crazy. Yeah. That was where. Well, tag me, tag me. Definitely. Your wife told us about the escorts, about the um, the sunscreen. Yes, if you guys are in St. Petersburg, you should definitely go. Yeah, April 29th. Um, should you yeah. Yeah. Should you just, yeah. Is this your key? She's, yeah, where are they? Yeah, that might be my key. Yeah, if you're in St. Petersburg, come by. Um, I'll DM you the information. Okay. And it's a red carpet event. <laughs> So proud. Now you're asking me how do you maintain this body? You just keep going. I mean, when you get to this level, you know it's doable. It's not scary. And food does not have to consume you, right? I love it. Food doesn't have to like own you. You can own your body and you know just live about something else other than food. Congrats to you, fitness model over here. I'm glad we. we that's it. Fitness model and a bikini model. <laughs> Girl, you got me shook from the way your body looks. Got me riding hooks, got me feeling like a rook.